This is the wombat berry. You've got to wait till it's dark because then is when they come out. Pretty big. They can be big ones. Here is another wombat berry just here, just next to this tree. You can see they've gone from each side. And when they check the cards on the camera, they'll see if it's like if it's gone in when it comes in, when it's gone out. It's pretty cool. I reckon it's awesome. And you can see it's facing in the direction of the borrow because if you're facing it all the way out here, you might not have that much luck. So that's why we put it at the borrow. This morning, we're reading all these tracks so we can tell what animals um, are here, so, and you can see it looks like a kangaroo fight. As you can see, these are the sand pads, and at the moment it looks like a snake slithering all the way around because it's going... It's pretty cool. This is one of the... This is the third one we've actually forced that we've had just here. As you can see on this sweep, it's a swamp well because two jumps here, two jumps there, two jumps there. And it's not the clearest because we've just had a fair bit of rain, but still clear enough that we can see it. Now we have to check how much rain we had. Five mil. But just over five. Just over five mil. Today is the fourth. Four. Okay, 24 hour rain go. See these really cool footprints? This is their heel and this is the rest of their foot. You can see the little toes. It's really awesome. They're, you can see because they're walking up this way, because you can see their toes here. The heels facing backwards, so here you go. We would put a pencil in the track of the wombat, and if it's like this, that means it's an adult, and if this, it's a sub adult, and anywhere in here, it's a baby. This is the water station where all the wombats get the water. You can see those little prints coming up here, that's where they would walk up and go down. What a perfect place for a borrow to be right just here and a water station right near it. Perfect. This is where the wombat has cleaned out all of this dirt. You can see it's fresh and soaky. So it's, well, it must have cleaned it out sometime in the morning here. Now we're putting in vegetation survey. We've got a measuring tape to measure how long we need it, and it's really long. It's, hard. it's really big, this buffalo grass on me. goat head burr and we're here to pull them out because the wombats if they stop on them they have really big spikes and they will hurt and they don't have doctors or anything so we're here to pull them out gotcha you've got to try and get all of the parts out like the the root so and put it in the bag so you don't get the burr
got my torch and I'm ready to go spot one for one, but let's go.